hello student i am dr peres from government degree college from changiri today i would like to give some lecture about the hasenberg uncertainty in classical physics we see any particle can be any body or any particle can be found its position momentum simultaneously means at a time but in quantum mechanics we can't be predict the position and momentum at a simultaneously so you can get the information about the one particular topic not the another one in this way the heisenberg uncertainty is called this is that's why it is called uncertainty it is proposed by the heisenberg hence its name is heisenberg uncertainty what it state state the heisenberg uncertainty principle means it is impossible to measure both the position and momentum simultaneously with unlimited accuracy this is the it is the impossible to measure both position and momentum uh, simultaneously means at a time we can't be find out unlimited accuracy if one can measure accurately another we can't measure so another definition is this say that only one of the position or momentum can be measured accurately at a single momentum with the, the instrumental limit if the delta x is the uncertainty in position delta px is the uncertainty in the momentum then their product is always equal or greater than h cross by 2 or simply h by 2 but experimentally it is right means it's greater than h r cross by So this is the product uncertainty principle of Eisenberg. As we move further, if it is delta x is uh, tends to zero, delta x is tends to zero, then delta p x is tends to infinity. This principle is the from many conjugate pairs of quantity. It measures the one of the effects say similar the Heisenberg density on delta e and uh, t why, why it is this one we take this delta energy one and time only because their products are the use the units of the Planck's constants hence it's a pairs are conjugate pairs are to be taken as to measure the other delta e and delta t their identity similarly the angular momentum the angular momentum L and an angular position theta then their product is always greater than or equal to h cross by 2 but Eisenberg uncertainty theory is go to explain using the microscope of a particle using the um, resolution limit of the resolutions of the microscope it's a hypothetical experiment so it was used for the this is the microscope there are the two ends let it be a and let it be b here is the electron so there is the rest uncertainty of the position of an electron so there is a incident proton proton incident this one and you have scattering with the angle here is the i but actually we take as a alpha scattering i is alpha so then the position of the uncertainty position delta x is given by lambda by 2 sin alpha so where alpha is the scattering angle and this is the limit of the microscope which can be resolved into two factors to a and b this is the resolving resolving means uh, by forget it distinguish it like this one so what's happened there there is some incident proton have momentum and scattered momentum has some uh, momentum that's why lambda dash what's happened that's why let's be calculate their momentum of the let's the momentum imparted imparted 
to the electron in the x direction when we take in the x direction so h by lambda dash minus h by lambda sin alpha here is the t bracket this way like h by lambda 1 that's the momentum minus h by lambda sin alpha it is to be subtracted because it scattered directions of the incident so where lambda dash is the wavelength of gamma radiation before scattering it's a original one so minus lambda is the wavelength after scattering if the scattered photon enters the microscope ob as you see in, in drawing the ob then its component along the x-axis is minus h by lambda sin alpha along the axis sin alpha so then the momentum important in imported the electron in the x direction you are only calculated the x direction here so h by lambda dash minus minus h by lambda minus of minus h by lambda sin alpha then we simplify it and got the h by and got the h by h lambda plus h by lambda sin alpha so what's happened that the, the change in their momentum so scatter momentum and the scattering momentum so then change in their momentum can be calculated delta px is equal to delta px is equal to h by lambda is the important one minus of h by h minus lambda h by lambda sin alpha thus it can be delta px gives the value of simpl and simplification to h by lambda sin alpha so but we know that Heisenberg density delta x into delta px is equal to lambda by 2 sin alpha into 2h by lambda sin alpha is equal to h because sin alpha sin alpha get cancelled lambda lambda cancel 2 2 cancel that is h but experimentally more rigorous treatment gives the delta x and delta px is equal to h cross by 2 so he was trying to prove the, their their assumptions delta x px equal to h cross by 2 experiment value is x h bar 2 so this is x so it does not it does near to the value since this is the heisenberg density using explain using the electron microscope of the resolution nature what it is uses of the applications of uncertainty principle there is a non-existence of electron in the nucleus why the electrons are not exist in the nucleus as you know that nucleus is a combination of proton and uh, neutron but electrons are revolving around it why it is does not in the nucleus why it is outside the nucleus so using this Heisenberg and scientific principle we calculate some of these properties so what's happen what need energy to be within the nucleus so how much of energy it is have so if you you know that the order of the radius of the atom is uh, 5 into 10 to the power of uh, 15 meter the electron exists in the nucleus assume that it is in the this is the delta x so 5 into 10 to the power of minus delta x and delta px and the, we know that by Heisenberg delta x into delta px is equal to the maximum is the minimum to the h cross by 2 equal to 2 okay some delta px is equal to h cross by 2x its value h cross as you know that is value h by 2 pi so into 2x so its value is 1.1 into the power of minus 20 and energy calculated is e equal to pc that is 3 e is equal to pc that is 20 milli, milli electron volt in mev 20 mev here but this is the energy needed to be an electron within the nucleus the nucleus whatever we are is energy but in the kinetic energy of the electron 20 into hk the matra is part of the nucleus but experimentally shown that the electrons kinetic energy of the electron is only about the 3 to 4 milli electron and the 10 milli electron volt okay electron volt around the door so it's only 3.3 to 4 mev so we conclude that electrons cannot be part of part of within the nucleus there are reasons here due to spinning here both there are reasons here so electrons out of the nucleus 
ఇది వన్ ఆఫ్ ది కార్పులేషన్స్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ చేయబడి పోయి న్యూక్లియర్ ఎరెక్ట్రాన్స్ ఇట్ అవుట్ సైడ్ ది న్యూక్లియస్ అలా ఒకటి ది హైజన్బర్గ్ విత్ ఇట్ విల్ బి ఈస్ ది ఆన్సర్ ఇన్ ది ఎగ్జామినేషన్ స్టేట్ ది హైజన్బర్గ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇట్ అండ్ హౌ కెన్ యూ డూ ది అప్లికేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ అండ్ హౌ కెన్ యూ ప్రూవ్ దట్ ది ఎలెక్ట్ యూజింగ్ ది ఎలెక్ట్రాన్ మైక్రోస్కోప్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్